Hi everyone, this video will show you how to convert a mesh STL or OBJ into a solid step. It's very efficient if you want to work with different softwares, like modeling with Blender and add some quotations with a CAD software. First thing, Blender can only export the model as a mesh which isn't the best format for CAD software. The CAD software needs to convert the mesh into a solid, most of them could do that, but there is a limit of around 10.000 faces, so if your model have more than 10.000 you could then open it in your CAD software. The solution is to reduce the number of faces, you could use MeshLab or Instant Meshes. For doing that, however, by decreasing the number of face, you lose the quality of the surfaces, and lose a lot of details. However it will work, and other solutions is to use Fusion 360, and convert your mesh into T-splines. However, you need to have a quad mesh for doing that it means that you need a OBJ file. If it's STL you need to convert it first, here is the workflow I use. Now a quick demonstration. First thing first, open your model in your software. As you can see, it is a very simple model, with few modifiers. A solidify and a subsurface. When you increase the number of subsurface the number of face increase too, the model becomes smoother. I choose zero for the subsurface. And then export the model as OBJ. As the model have only 304 faces we could try to open it directly in the CAD software. The file should be in STL that be opened. But we want to keep the smoothness, like it was at the level 5 of subsurface, so we will use Fusion 360 to convert the OBJ into a step file. So open Fusion 360. Import the file as a mesh. Convert the mesh at T-splines. Make some adjustments to obtain the expected form. Then export the file as step. Now, in your CAD software, open the new step file. As you can see, now the model is a solid, so you could now adjust it as your convenience with the solid features. According to my needs, this workflow is the best to convert STL or OBJ files to a step without losing the quality of the mesh. If you have any questions about the video or the workflow, feel free to ask. You can find in the description the link of all the softwares I used to convert the mesh to a solid.